Hey guys, what's going on? Set 5 here today. I'm bringing you guys another NBA 2K15 news video. You guys know my last one was about Cruz. That should be on uh, at the end of my video with the outro. Today, I'm talking about NBA 2K15, my league. And I'm also going to bring you probably a little bit of an end, uh, something about NBA Live 15. But before I get into that, I'll make sure to talk about 2K15 first because there's a lot more to talk about that, as far as I know than live other than for screenshots and everything but I want to know from you guys the, for those of you who already know about the news what do you guys think about the new NBA Live 15 auction house and the new 2k mode my league so right now if you guys don't know I'll explain to you guys a little bit uh, real quick kind of about bits and details of what it is and I'll kind of put my thoughts around what I think uh, about this mode so if you guys don't know on Operation Sports they just released it today which I just realized is actually two months away from uh, 2k15 which uh, maybe I don't know that's why they chose this date I don't know <laughs> but anyways they had an interview and they posted on Operation Sports so I'll put the link, that, a link down in the description for those of you who want to read the entire thing but essentially what it is is that they've added a lot of new stuff to this it's called my league they've added a lot of new stuff to this so it's supposed to be similar to association mode back with 360 and PS3 and you know just older titles of the game now my GM was a totally different thing that was or I don't want to say totally different but you know it's pretty much both of those are basics of hey they're you know season modes that you can go multiple seasons in but they were essentially the exact same thing you know and uh, or not the exact same sorry but they were just they had different features in them but my GM you know having the the added part of VC like oh I gotta pay to be able to do this to get to a certain player whatever was a little frustrating kind of wanted to just be basic stuff like association was and now that they've added this uh, all these different things which I'll go over here in a second you know it's gonna make the game really fun so what they've added other than for the basic stuff adding back so I'm gonna just try and go over the new stuff they've added pretty much um, the basic association with these added features you know they've got trade negotiations difficulty so now you can change how hard it is to get a player how uh, how hard it is for them to sign with you or not like whether they care about the money or being loyal or whatever I think that you can adjust that or that will that's a, what the slider will adjust I guess everything is based on the slider uh, blockbuster trade frequency even which I think is a really cool option so you could change uh, how often a blockbuster trades occur so any big trades with either huge players or multiple players also there you know just in general you could change the trade frequency uh, so you could change how much the teams trade other than for you specifically but the other games like or other teams um, that are computers so you can adjust that to your liking and now with me I would keep it lower because you know I'm a guy that I want it to be a little more realistic and honestly other than for off season and um, trade deadline like near around the trade deadline you know there are there isn't much trading going on but uh, yeah anyways going down the list you've got injury effects which I'll get to in a second they have a new uh, system that they implemented called injury 2.0 which you know reading it it seems really cool um, in season training effects player progression rate draft class quality yeah you there's actually a slider now where you can adjust the quality of the draft class whether you want a bunch of like superstars or you want a bunch of you know bad people or you want an average maybe a mix like I don't know if it's like a slider where you can adjust every player is bad or good or you can adjust like oh I want the majority of them to be good players but then mix also in some bad players in there not just a bunch of us uh, you know a bunch of guys like this year where it's like you know just a bunch of stars um, anyways going down the list you got you know franchise you can um, do the fan, fan, uh, fantasy draft and I think that's a good thing that they've added which you know they I mean they still had previously with my GM and association mode and all that but one thing I want them to bring that to which I'll get to in a second is the online leagues which they do explain a little bit about in here but the biggest thing that I want to talk about or I guess not the biggest thing but just one uh, thing that I want to talk about was injury 2.0 so what this new injury 2.0 thing is is that you can or you can adjust a uh, frequency of injuries as well as a frequency of uh, how severe it is you can adjust um, like chemistry I guess looks like as well uh, again going back to the injuries I don't know I was going to chemistry there but uh, I'll read a little uh, excerpt from this article here so according to the injuries they've rewritten the system so how it is so 
essentially before you used to have a single durability rating so you guys know about the durability rating where it's like you know if it's low you get injured frequently and if it's higher you have a less of a chance of getting injured but when it'll you get injured it'd be a random body part being chosen whether it's your arm your leg whatever now with injury 2.0 every player has a unique durability rating for 16 different body parts left think left foot right foot you know wrists uh hands whatever it might be just a different body part so there's 16 in total as far as the, the number goes here uh but it says this level of control allows us to pick a player like russell westbrook and say that he's a right that say that he has a right knee with a significantly higher chance of getting injured than his left knee or any other body part for that issue in short players injury player injuries are going to be a lot more relevant and a lot less random so if a player gets injured it's going to be more towards what they would be injured you know that their body part would be injured towards you know what they normally would get affected by so you know whether it might be their leg or their arm because that's how they've been in the past or just kind of one one thing would affect them more so i mean i don't know how they work with some players who have never been injured or who rarely get injured i don't know but we'll have to see with that or you know it'll be like brandon roy or greg odin will have to do something with their legs specifically and uh you know i think that you can actually tone down how often your player gets injured as well as i kind of wonder can you don't tone down the uh severity maybe but it's not also just always going to be that thing so russell westbrook he's not like every time he gets injured it's not always going to be his leg like he'll still injure his arm here and there but he's going to be more uh it's going to be more frequent that he injures the body part that he would normally injure for maybe his play style like he's a lot more athletic dude so he could end up injuring his leg a lot more and stuff like that also, you've got a new my career, not my career, create a player they've added back in. As you guys know, in 2K14 Next Gen, you cannot just create your own player and put them on a team, make a custom roster and all that stuff. Like, in that way, just creating your own players. Now you can, so that's really nice to add. And so, just looking at a lot of this, it's really nice that they brought, brought this all back. Old association mode. Oh, also, there is no VC, which I really love. That's something that really kind of ticked me off for a bit with my GM because they kind of... Uh, Put, almost put you in a position like hey you want to you know get lebron james right now oh but you just don't have just a little you need a little more money spend 1500 vc level your guy up and buy this uh specific like kumbaya pitch or whatever you know stuff like that that irritated me that i had to you know spend vc and uh you know i didn't though i went around it but just it kind of made the experience a little less enjoyable but now that they've added kind of the old association mode back with a lot of these new different settings pretty much giving you every single option possible you can also like i think it said turn off the hard cap maybe the salary cap adjust that adjust the number salary cap like specifically you know how high you want it to go and things like that things of that nature you know that's what i really like is you know you're bringing back associate they're bringing back association mode with a lot more specificity to it everything that you have in the game that could potentially be an option like they mentioned in here like a sandbox option you know that's what they're going for is just trying to make it as creative as possible so you can adjust anything make it however you want like nothing is stopping you from doing a lot of this stuff and it's really cool and uh you know again bringing back create a player that's something i don't know why they would ever take out but they put that back in so that's also good and maybe it's because they didn't have a lot of time to work on 2k14 next gen but there's some stuff that i, I feel like would have been basic to just you know add in um now going to nba live so that's 2k15 i really enjoy that though so that's really giving me a lot more uh you know that's persuaded me a lot more for 2k15 but nba live has actually just recently added something new as well which is really awesome so as you guys know with madden and 2k they are not 2k sorry madden and fifa they've had uh for a few years now since they've had ultimate team as far as i uh, i'm concerned they have this uh auction house that they do with transfer market you can like offer players up and things like that you can offer uh anything up you can offer you know certain items and stuff like that like jerseys or balls or whatever now in this one i know uh, nba live 15 they've actually added an auction house which wh what i'm assuming it sounds like because uh with fifa it's called a transfer market maybe that's just because that's what it's actually called in with soccer but i'm assuming that they're gonna have an uh that's just gonna be the same kind of concept but I think that's a really, really good thing that they're doing. They're bringing that back. Maybe because they just didn't know what they were starting off with after coming back from so long. Because NBA Live 14, they didn't have any other NBA Lives you know, until I think 10. Or did they have 11? I'm not too sure. They had NBA Elite, which they canceled um, you know, partway through the demo. So stuff like that. It's really interesting to be... Uh, it's really interesting to me that they are bringing this out now, and I really like it. I really enjoy the transfer market and all the how they have everything set up, and I really hope 2K could do something like that with my team because that's just something that's really awesome to do. It just, you know, I think I've mentioned this before about 2K having a 
uh, you know, looking at uh, EA's ideas and looking at the, you know, one big, the, obviously the big idea was a transfer market and what they could do with that. And I'm really hoping that they do figure something out with that. Maybe try and figure out some sort of transfer market or auction house or something. But I think it's just, like I mentioned before with 2K, I don't know if they'll want to do that because they just won't be getting as much money from it because people more or less will be, um, for example, for me, for a person that buys a lot of packs, I can buy a lot of packs, get a bunch of good players, get a bunch of duplicates, and just let those go to the transfer market and try and give them to my friends or whatever so they don't have to spend any money. And so 2K is losing money that way. So 2K, you know, depending on how they are with that money side of things, I'm really hoping that they maybe try figure something out like that. Try and, you know, lower down on us having to spend VC so much or, you know... Uh, like I said, I've said before, like forcing our hand a little bit, but that's just my thoughts. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below on the NBA Live 15 auction house and 2K's new My League, and then finally bringing back Create a Player, which again, I don't know why they took out, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and reply back. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about Crew being back on current gen, and I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about Crew being back, and more specifically, what do you guys think about it being back on current gen? So let me know down in the comments below. And the reason I say yeah, I'm trying to be a little more specific about this is because a lot of people have already, you know, said that it's only on current gen 